What's up, everybody? We are in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. We are going to Sup's Nutrition Store. That's Sup's with the Z. They, uh, they've they been big supporters for Axe and Sledge for a long time. They're one of the fucking Snack King's clients. <laughs> Dean Perone, living legend. We're here uh, this morning. I fucked my ankle up. So, you know, that functional shit that I do. So this is part of the Squats with Seth tour on Sunday. I did a guest posing here in, I believe, 2016? Fuck me, I, it might have been 2012. Wait that minute. long ago. <laughs> what are you gonna stand in line for? Hey, <laughs> keep going, dude. Hey. Sweet hat. Thanks, you too. Nice. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Wonderful, wonderful. Good dick day, huh? What's up, Good stuff, good stuff. I'm loving life. What's up, big boy? How are you? We're big people in Wisconsin. How you doing? Good to meet you guys. Oh, man. Nice and tan. Yes, sir. That's a cool spot. This is awesome. Wisconsin is quite the spot. Did you get cheese curds yet? Uh, so we <laughs> 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 yeah. Even last night, we were like, this is fucking the cheese capital of the country, oh, so. Yeah. Instead of an alcohol <laughs> shelf, we have a self shelf. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Hey. Good. How are you? Fuck you, Shane. <laughs> All right, so. Here's how I do it. Lay the shirt flat so the seams are at the top like that, yep. just as you would with anything. Now, you want it like I cut mine, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I go for about right there, okay? Like an inch off of this, and I don't go down like that. I'm gonna take it here, and then kind of just go up to here, and then turn up. Okay. Okay? My heart has I can work with anything, even if they suck. Good to see you. Hello. You gonna flex for him? Oh yeah. It's 26 pounds in your head that you want to go and achieve it, but uh, I'll tell you this right now: with the mentality that you built from this journey. 26 pounds isn't going to be the end. Correct. Yep. You're going to get to 26 pounds and then be like, okay, what do so I do? What's more. next? Yeah. Do not overcomplicate this fucking shit. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. go to the gym, work out, and learn your body. No one, know, no one is going to know your body better than you for the next couple of years. Because you have to learn what exercise, like you're learning, you're like, I think I'm shoulder dominant. Okay, there's only one way to know. Nobody can fucking tell you that until you figure it out for yourself. So being young and just being in the gym and working out and spending hours in there, enjoying the, enjoying the training, enjoying the session, that's everything. He'll, he'll love it. It's a guy I work with. Evan, I'm here with your friend Brandon. I'm here to tell you to get off your fat fucking ass and do work. Love you, brother. Get to work. That's perfect, man. Thank you. Win or lose, tomorrow you're still going to work. There's always going to be room for improvement. You're never actually going to be satisfied with it. And the same thing goes for pretty much everything in life. <clears throat> and, and not losing your shit, getting frustrated, and want to jump off a fucking bridge because something bad happened, that's part of the learning experience. It's just understanding that no matter what you do, there's always going to be work. If you go and win a meet, great, you took fifth at nationals. Guess what? You were like, oh, okay, I'm not done yet. Though. Say you win nationals. Guess what you're going to say? Well, now i got to defend my fucking title. Right. Exactly. Right. exactly. There is always going to be room for improvement in everything you do in life, and it's only because of your mentality. Have big goals in life. Set the fucking bar stupid high. Like you just said 405? Fuck yeah, four plates, bitch. And after four, make it five. Here to climb him. You're gonna love it. That's the exciting part about it all, and to have those goals. So, seeing a young man like yourself excited and doing cool shit, mm, fucking gets me going. I love it. Fuck you, Shane. What's up, Marshall? Here with your old man. He told me all about you. Fucking love it, dude. Keep being a good motherfucker. Working hard. He told me you were down in Florida doing sales. 
I love it, dude. Like I said, you know, one day I was all fucking fat and like I was 282 yeah. in that picture. And then uh, I was having trouble getting out of bed to go feed my baby. And I was like, I don't like this. Yeah, Something like, about it. Just, it. It's that thing that, uh, like, you don't have to be six months right? You know what I mean? You don't have to be. It, is it people's dreams? Sure. Yeah. But the thing is, is to be able to be functional for your family and be, feel very feel, strong, yeah. feel, feel like you can be a protector. I think that's something that every man, once you have kids, it really starts coming over you and starts feeling like, I can't be a piece of shit. Yeah. I can't feel like a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I need to feel a little dangerous, a little violent, a little strong. <laughs> <laughs> you need those things no. out there. Yeah, that's the main thing, you know, and I can do the prime example of that, man. Every time I look at your videos, like, right, that, man. that's where I want to be. That's where I'm going to get. You know, and I oh, drove two hours to get here, but you know, we're here, and I appreciate it. And, you know, it was Thank definitely you. great meeting you. Oh, fuck get yeah, a picture? Dude. Yeah, let's get it. how weak it feels right now. I just don't want to like. Nah, it's not worth it. It feels, it feels hinged, <laughs> that's one thing you probably know. It's like, it's but I'm like, we could still do something. I can, it just doesn't have that say, it's just, it's just injured, that's all. Welcome to Squats on Sunday with me. It's a good time. This whole tour, the whole reason that I started this tour was because we wanted to give back to our stores and the community and everybody that supports all the local brands. And I was like, meet and greets are fun, but it's always a little more fun to add some intensity. And whenever we travel, we train. So the reason that we do the Squats on Sunday, uh, Hannah and I train together on weekends. On Sundays is usually when Hannah and I train together. The whole reason I wanted to do this was because on Sundays is usually whenever we throw down. That's the one day a week where I just go fucking ham in the gym doing something over the top and intense and not pointless, but just to beat the ever-loving shit out of yourself and see how far you can push yourself. So I thought whenever we're doing this, why not do it with our people? Why not do something cool where we support a local gym, we support the stores, we do things to build the community better and stronger. Now. Uh, in society and kind of just how things are today, you don't get too many groups of guys together, people, and do cool shit. In this environment, we all work hard every single day of the week. We all bust our asses, and we should be doing things together as, as groups of men to challenge each other because we're not young and virile anymore. Some of us aren't. The whole goal is to make sure that we still got the shit in us to still bring it to life and to actually pull things out of ourselves that we normally wouldn't do on our own. Because when we're on our own in the gym, it's like, yeah, this is cool, I'm training hard. But when we get together, I want to see some, I want to see people throw down and do something extravagant, do something that they normally wouldn't do. Be in an environment where people are cheering each other on to get more than they are used to. Because we have big, strong power lifter over here. That's, I don't know how much you squat, but my goal is to do something like, I've been hitting 225 for as many as I can. 225 has been the number. Uh, today, I don't know what I'm going to do with my ankle, but I'm not going to be a pussy. Even if I do 135 91 times, it's still an accomplishment. I don't care what you do at what weight you do it at. I just want you to do something that you normally would not do in the environment that you would be by yourself. Like, there's going to be this, this is going to get super intense. I'm going to set the tone with something. I don't know what. 
but whenever you are ready to do something extravagant, I want you to do it and I want everybody to get behind that person and get excited about it. That is the goal. So, this is a unique environment. So far we've had some people throw down. We've had one guy in Iowa, he hit 225 for 44. Uh, one guy in New Jersey, this bowling ball of a power lifter, hit 225 for 50. Um, I hit 41. Uh, we had a dude hit 315 for 21. So, I don't care what you do. I just want you to throw the fuck down.
I had lots of fun today. We got to see young men throw up some serious weights. Everybody get some things outside of their comfort zone. I'm Bob, one puker. <laughs> Gentlemen, I, I absolutely love this shit. Um, thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for supporting shops. Thank you guys for, for just being good motherfuckers. What we did here today, do more of it. Get outside of your comfort zone. Do 225 for 30 reps. Do something, just do something intense. And encourage other people that you guys hang out with once a month. Get together with people on the weekends or a night after work and just throw down. Doesn't matter what you do, just throw the fuck down, do something outside of it. Get outside of your comfort zone, get outside of uh, your regular regimen. Like being on routine is very good, obviously. But doing something like this, like this isn't your normal leg workout, but you're gonna feel way different tonight and tomorrow than you ever do. So do it for other body parts, get together with people. This is the good shit. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for supporting subs and supporting everything that we do as a company. I can't thank you guys enough. So, round of applause for everybody. Get to meet everybody and see your faces. It's, it has an impact on me because, like, I, I, uh, I you know, people, we have thousands of people that buy every day from us. Yeah. And it's great yeah. and it's wonderful. But to be able to have a personal connection with everybody and to be able to meet you and, and know that, like, I'm, whenever you guys. Meet you. Whenever, you have no idea, bro. <laughs> yeah, but, but listen, listen. I'm still some. I come in, like, small, small towns and people are like, you're going to Oshkosh. And I'm like, yeah. I was like, we got people that support the fuck out of our company. And seeing you guys wear the HWMF hats, like, my dad, that's my dad. My dad was just the epitome of a hardworking motherfucker. And somehow, I have been able to put that on a on a massive global scale where people all over the world wear the four letters HWMF. And and it's, it, it means the world to me. It's not so, a brand, it's a way of life. It is a way of life. That's exactly what you're talking about. And still So, so and, and, and be able to, like you two carry on traditions in your family. Like you have a son, guess what? More than likely your son's probably gonna do machine work and welding. I think it's, and, and then you're also gonna have the story of HWMF, so somehow my mentality is able to impact your family. 100. And have 100. values and carry on. So those are things that like, whenever we're on a ride home on the planes, it's like, that's all we talk about. Is, 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 how, is how, what kind of impact we're actually having on regular normal people that are in America making this country what it is. So I, I can't thank you guys enough. Keep holding that flag high, man. And oh, man. Right thank you, right thank you gentlemen. Thanks. It's an honor. Pleasure. My man. It's probably a $100,000 truck now. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> Fuck me, buddy.